Hey dudes and dudettes and welcome back to another one. In today's video we're going to be looking at settings. Now this is definitely one of the more requested videos, this and the ability card layout but we'll leave that one for another day. But for some of you guys that are new to Red Dead and just catching up, the first thing we're going to be looking at is lock on. Now I know that some of you dudes out there prefer this on narrow but when it comes to spinning and being able to turn Rapidly the setting needs to be on wide. By doing this you'll be able to turn and kill your opponent a lot faster. Now if you haven't already done so aim assist needs to be all the way up. It will help you secure headshots a lot faster especially when you're sniping. Now auto pin switching is in regard to the Lamat revolver and that's just if you want to go from regular ammunition over to your shotgun shells. Now I personally have never actually used this setting but for some of you dudes out there that want to quickly switch to shotgun shells this could be beneficial for you. Now one question I'm asked all the time is do I use standard or standard FPS? The truth is I use both of them. Both of them have their own advantages, but with the standard FPS, you're able to execute a lot more moves, being able to pop up and down a lot more easily. So I would recommend standard FPS all the time. And every single time you go for a lock on your opponent, you can quickly dash the A button on Xbox or X button on PlayStation, and you can pop up and take the shot at the same time. This breaks the opponent's lock on and can save you being killed in numerous situations. Now let's quickly go over why I have my third person settings just like this. Now dudes I've always had my settings like this because this is what works best for me and I never change these settings unless I'm using free aim. Now one fact that I need to point out to you guys it doesn't matter if you have fast settings or slow settings when you aim at your target and then push up towards the head the speed is exactly the same now when the cursor goes over the head which is what we call overshooting then if you've got super fast settings then your aim is going to fly off into the sky now even though my aim sensitivity is really slow i can still look around extremely fast to search and target opponents so as you can see in the video when i'm aiming my weapon and then moving around this is how slow it moves now dudes as i stated before when you aim at your target and then move up towards the head it does not matter if your settings are fast slow or medium the timing is exactly the same because this is within lock on it's only when you go above the head the settings come into play and not a lot of people know that so when it's fast it flies off and when it's slow it doesn't fly off so by having your settings similar to mine your aim is not just going to fly off and you'll have enough time to bring it back down and complete the headshot without everything going crazy why do people find it beneficial to have faster settings well that's the settings they've probably been using since the beginning and if someone said to me let's fight free aim but using PIB then yes the faster settings are going to come in handy because I can look around really fast while still being in the aim position and paint the targets at the same time now some veteran players do use this tactic to be able to paint targets when they haven't got the lock on however if i'm already looking in the direction of my opponent then i don't feel that these faster settings are beneficial now with my look sensitivity really fast i'm able to search around and look for targets with my lock on being on wide that the second that i spot any target i just flick on the lt or l2 button and it takes me right to the target now when i aim up towards the head because of my aim sensitivity i don't overshoot the target by much now moving on to first person settings and this is in regard to scoping now i go for the slower settings and i'll tell you why there are two different types of scopers out there they're the people that don't mind being in scope mode for a long time with the super fast settings and there's people like myself that doesn't like to stay in scope mode for too long i would much prefer to line up my opponent with my third person settings and by the time i aim i'm already looking at my opponent 
and remember when your aim assist is high you're going to be killing your opponents relatively fast especially if you land on your opponent while scoping and remember if you're going to have your settings just like mine then you need to line up your opponent in third person mode first otherwise it's going to be far too slow to drag to your opponent and then make the kill these are for people with much faster settings so remember guys when i'm working a showdown i'll be running around using my third person settings um, killing people super fast not overshooting anybody and when the occasion arises where i need to use my carcano i'm already lining up my opponent in third person mode and then i'm going straight for the headshot now we'll quickly look at why some people have the faster settings when it comes to scoping these are normally people that like to try to kill people as fast as possible now regardless to whether they're in scope mode or not these faster settings allow them to spin around while aiming at the same time reasonably fast now most of the people that use these settings are aiming and moving to the area where the opponent's going to be and then they just wait for them to get there and then take the shot and people that use these settings are much more likely to go for a fast drag shot where they drag the aim along and then fire before they stop with the carcano rifle and this can work incredibly well for people that have those speedy reflexes however i like to line my opponent up in the third person mode and i can also aim towards where my opponent's going to be using this same principle so there are those two ways of doing it if you've got super fast speedy reflexes then go right ahead and put your settings all the way up and go for those fast shots if your reflexes are not as fast and you don't use the carcano that much then you can use your settings just like i do line up your opponent go into scope mode and let the aim assist do the rest this is a much easier way of allowing the game to do the work for you remember guys when it comes to settings it has to be what's most comfortable for you this is just an overall guideline of what i use and to be absolutely honest i've used these settings for nearly two years now and over the last two years using these settings other players haven't been able to wreck me unless they're rocking heavy ammunition but that only applies to people that rock tier 3 tonics e rounds and have a small penis and in regards to the elite control pad people often ask me what do i use the panels for so on and so forth the truth is nowadays i don't use any of the panels whatsoever i just play standard anyway dudes that's going to be it for this one if you want to see more tips and tricks please do remember to like share and subscribe and i'll see you dudes in the next video